guys and welcome back. There is a whole lot to catch you up on this week and we couldn't be more excited. We are building our dream off-grid island home and it is really starting to take shape. Subscribe and follow our journey making magic on our tiny island home in this remote part of the Solomon Islands. lapse made that look really easy we have now completed all the framing on the main building took us about a week it was a really challenging week actually the guys did an amazing job these frames are all made out of tropical hardwood so super heavy by comparison to what you'd build with in say australia lots of other challenges we had rain we had lots of sun so it was scaldingly hot the whole time we had a nail gun that was just not cooperating we had a whole box of nails nail gun nails completely disintegrate all the glue disintegrated so we lost about 3,000 nails and kept jamming the gun and lots of challenges but everyone put in a mammoth effort and yeah we've got it done when you're sitting on this site without anything here without any frames up the the forest is actually almost overwhelming and i feel like you don't appreciate what is there as much as now when you see these little portals that are looking out like behind me here to the open ocean you can start to see what that view is going to look like and it actually focuses your view uh, a lot more than just being overwhelmed with all of this stuff around you so it's really really cool so we're going to try and give you a bit of a tour around now. Here's Katie in the living room. <laughs> so traditionally we would use timber louver blades, mosquito netting, and you do lose a little bit of that view. So we're just going to put a big glass panel in here and then two timber louver windows down the side. That's all louvers. That's the main door. Louvers, louvers, louvers. So airflow is not going to be an issue. So we've got kitchen into living space here. All, all of it's going to be really open. We're actually going to put a cathedral ceiling in, which is going to follow the roof line up. Uh, so the rest of the house will have a traditional ceiling in it. They're pretty high ceilings. Uh, it'll have a flat ceiling in it, but this is going to actually follow the roof line, just the same as the leaf roof does as well on the deck out here. I'm going to go through, uh, this would be like the main entryway into the hallway. First of the kids' rooms. His room's off the back, and that view onto the forest is just amazing, hey? Absolutely beautiful. So cool. So the kids are used to a massive space currently in the house that we're in at the moment, but these two rooms, I think they'll end up probably sharing a room to sleep in, and then we'll set the other one up as a learning playroom as well, until the time comes where they don't want to share a room. We're planning to put single beds on the wall. And this actually opens out to the ocean as well. So you can actually see the ocean from this room. Kids bathroom. <laughs> and our room. <laughs> our room seems absolutely monstrous. To me right now, I feel like when the walls go up, it'll feel more realistic. 
So we've been very greedy with the views. Um, but Finally. yeah, so the, the living room and our room open up onto the ocean. And again, we've got two very large glass windows, one in front of the bed, which will be, bed will be over here. And then this will be a series of three four to ceiling timber louvers, maximizing our airflow, because we do get a fair bit of wind from the north. As you come into the room here is where the cupboards, our cupboards are gonna be. Yeah. Which will be pretty basic. And the other side of that is our vanity, and this is all open into our bathroom. So Katie's over now in the bathroom, so it's gonna be. The shower here looking out through this glass window, which will be nice. And then if we can make it happen, we're planning on having a bathtub. But I think probably for the foreseeable future, it'll be a space for a bathtub. <laughs> Until COVID allows us to buy a bathtub. We'll see. Or I figure out how to make a bathtub I'm, out of timber. I'm not convinced. <laughs> that is our, the main building anyway. Yeah. The adjacent building, which is where we're going to have our office and laundry and a couple of other bedrooms as well. So we're going to show you that next week. But yeah, this is going to be our living space and it's still... It's like massive compared to what we have now. It's so much bigger. It feels and... absolutely monstrous. And... As you can tell, we've made really good progress on the house. There's been a lot of work going on up here, but at the same time, we've also had a ton of other work going on, preparing the resort to reopen. I think Arlo and... wants to go do another check later yeah. on. Yeah, I'm sure. It has been a super busy time for us. So making sure that we make time as a family to get out with the kids on the water has, has been a priority. It's been hard to achieve, but we've been pushing to make it happen. This morning. Papa's candy. Papa's. Oh wow! Daddy's going to work. Maybe if we can get everyone out of the house. Woo! What do you say? <laughs> yeah, mommy didn't even ask the outfit. Daddy threw on in a heartbeat. sudden it is the end of another year. I find it to be a time for reflection and appreciation for what the year has given to us. This experience of joining the local kindy has been a definite highlight for everyone. Not only have we been so lucky to see Arlo grow through his experiences here, but we have also formed an extra special connection with the Tubacobi community. <laughs> I have mentioned before that the kindy doesn't have a whole lot in terms of physical resources, but my goodness, it has a whole lot of love and two very beautiful, caring teachers who are doing their absolute best. We are so lucky to be a part of it. Thank you to Elton and Luciana for making this year so special to us. It's going to be a bit wet, Arlo. Are you okay there, darling? Oh my god. I was just standing up on the rail trying to hang this up and this possum just came at me like <laughs> <laughs> Where'd he go? He's there. He's just out walking around. Hey dude. He's not very big. He's bigger than <laughs> <laughs> That's an angry possum. Hey mate. <laughs> I think we gave him a fright. Oh, sorry, little guy. He's just trying to hang up the mattress protector. Oh my goodness! It's lucky I didn't bloody fall in the ocean. 
Are we gonna go check on the cabins? No. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. So we are have a night, my dear. My dear. Oh, okay. All right. You're gonna show us around. Look. What yeah. do you think here? We've got fresh paint on the walls. Yeah. That looks good. Yes, and new painted timbers here on the web. Yeah. And here's all painted. They've done the repairs, and look, they got rid of that. I still got to get rid of the timbers, but they got rid of that yes. section of the deck. Yes. You got it. Okay. What do you think, Philly? No. Yeah. And they fixed up the railing that was broken. Yeah. And they even cut the hibiscus. Great job, guys. That looks so good. All right, let's go check on Uncle Harry, see what he's doing. Yes, he's doing some painting. I'm not scared of Harry. You're not scared of Harry, that's good. What do you think, guys? That looks good. Looks really good. Yes. Great job, Harry. Roll on the deck, eh? Who would have thought? <coughs> so I just saw a boat arriving. I think it's Dickie. What do you think might be in there? I don't know. <gasps> Let's go have a look. Yes. Uh, the boat jetty. <laughs> he even walks like a little boss. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Ale, what do you think Dickie's brought? Leave. Leave? Good guess. I think you're right. Woohoo! You leave. Wow. You're right, Ale. Good job. Okay, let's have a guess, kids. How many pieces of leaf do you think are in there? I think 100. 100? Philly? Philly. It's really bright, isn't it? How many pieces of leaf do you think are in there? Five. Five. All right, that's a pretty big difference. Let's go ask Dickie how many. He's a bit stuck. I think he's taking a too big a stick into his hole and he can't get out. That's pretty funny, isn't it? What a silly crab. No, he can't get into his hole. What are you doing there, buddy? What are you doing there, buddy? I can't get into his hole. He's going to have to pull that stick out and then go back in. Nah. Hey, dude. Hey, dude. You know, I'm like, bite. Nah, you get your finger bit. <laughs> Almost bit me. It almost bit you. I think it almost bit Arlo. <laughs> I almost bit me. I'm pulling. We'll just leave him alone. He'll pull it out again. He'll figure it out. All right, let's go. Let's go. Not Robbie. I'm showing sure Dicky how many leaves I know. One twenty. One hundred and twenty-eight. Whoa! Arlo, you were right. Arlo guessed one hundred, and Philly guessed five. I, 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 I think Arlo was definitely the winner on that one. Sorry, sweetheart. Hey? Okay. Ah. So I just got back from market and yeah, you got some some fruit for the kids this week. That's pretty cool. Some Solomon apples, some watermelon. Do you want to hold Arlo's hand? Oh, that's nice. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, Coming two. Oh, looks like one piece of decking needs to go back on. I'm going to put these fascias on, they look good. I'll put away the sails and everything. Hello. How's the new decking feel? Is it strong? Yeah. Big voice. Yeah. Okay, come down. You can hold the rail. That's a pretty nice day. Woo! Oh, true. All right. So, what's the plan now, Bobs? 
But I break him out, you know, full house. Then why you may change him? Walk him back full house. Yeah. It doesn't matter how many weeks go by, I still can't take you serious for that air guns. <laughs> oh, kids, we're gonna have to move all our swimming toys. Gosh. You can some work again. Yep. And what about painting? Is that all finished? Still some work again. Okay, Arlo. So, what do you think about the progress so far? There's still some work to go, I think. Okay, but are, they, are you happy with the progress? Are they doing a good job? Yeah. Yeah, I think they are too. And here's my flower. Oh, that's great. Everyone is working so hard to get the resort ready. It has been weeks of rebuilding, repairing, gardening and painting, but we are making great progress. Next week we're going to talk to some of our local staff about the art form of weaving leaf to share a little more about this traditional skill that has been used for generations to build homes right here in the islands. How's it going Grant? Hot, sweaty and dirty. <laughs> More, more leaf work to be done. Heaps. This is our restaurant. Currently, leaf storage. <laughs> so, Philly's got a flower in her hat. I've got two flowers in my hat. And, I got and what, one Arlo, what have you got in the back of your hat? A clip. What sort of clip is it? Um, bag clip. What have you got a bag clip on your hat for? Because that thing is not working. Wow, that's a MacGyver hat, mate. Good job. And now it has broken. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Who's going to drive? Daddy. I'm, I'm going to drive as well. Who's going to drive? Me and Daddy. Wow, nice Lennon sunnies, dude. So, Where's your hat? Where's your hat? Oh, here's my hat. Hat's on, sunscreen down. Let's go. Let's go. Ho, ho. I wish I knew the road to you. I don't care how far I won't stop trying. Oh, 